Yeah. And again, just like, Rabble is such a like up and coming player. He's kind of just this online warrior who played in a lot of online tournaments. And you know, he's great showing his first couple offline tournaments and he's only been getting better. I mean, he's going to be in top four, like at you know, the second biggest Skullgirls Major of the year. I want to say that's such a big deal. Yeah, this is probably the second biggest yeah. one. Yeah. And the level of play here is like really good too. It's not just, you know, like, like he's beaten good players to get here. Oh yeah, absolutely. He was the one who put Sage in, oh wait, not Sage. Uh, um, Sonic. Sonic into losers in the first place. Right. Okay, it looks like we're going to get started. I didn't, I'm assuming they're both running their usual teams. I couldn't see. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Yep, so here we go. Peacock Bella versus Beowulf Bella Big Man. Yeah, and this is such a hard matchup for Peacock. It got a little easier with the Lenny changes, but still, like, Beowulf jumping hard punch is such a problem, and when it's backed up by Brass, you're going to see a lot of Peacock in the corner in yep. this set. Getting mixed and getting hit. TJ, like, one of the best players in this, you know, over the life of this game, certainly. But one of the knocks against him is he does kind of have predictable defense. Yeah. He is always either going to do um, medium punch gun or he's going to tag the Bella. Yeah, he is infamous for doing so many raw tags. And Sage is definitely the kind of player to not really get hit by that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's developed setups that will beat both of those reversal options. Right. He's, he's forced TJ to play his defense a bit more honestly. Yeah. And of course, you're seeing how bad it is to play honest defense against Beowulf. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're building so much hype meter right now as well. I believe he has three stocks. Ooh, nice. That counter hit. Just get him uh, possibly holding up forward. I'm not sure. We'll never know. Oh, that's going to hit the recovery of Mary Gorilla. Not yeah. super cancelable, so there's nothing he can do about that. Good of Sage to see during the super flash. Hey, it's Mary Gorilla. Yep. So no meter here, but he does have big band. Yeah. And here we go. TJ just on the sliver of life. He does have four meters, but just gets, gets punched in the face by Titan Knuckle. Giving him the biggest punch of all time. Yeah. And just no, no, like, you know, solid hit from TJ. Peacock just kind of died before she got to do anything. Bella didn't, just kind of got mixed. Again, this so. is very hard for Peacock. Yeah. Even if she does get started somehow, it is still pretty easy for Beowulf with Brass Assist to get in against the zoning. Yeah. Okay, it looks like TG is going to get a brief chance to play, and it's over, and Beowulf is in. Up. Oh. Jeez. Right, going to get full hype off of that, and a lot of meter build, too. So Sage uses Accelabella on this team because it's a good setup assist, and he doesn't really need another assist for neutral or for defense or anything. Like, Big Band kind of does everything. Yeah, but Beowulf with Brass on its own is plenty. Yeah, so he almost doesn't need another assist, but because he has space for one, he'll put in Accelabella, gets him those cool setups. There go. I like the PPGC Crouch Light Kick to get out of the pressure there uh, by TJ, but it's just not quite able to get everything started, and he actually gets an anti-air by Beowulf right there. Yeah, really great anti-air from Sage. Yep. Going to carry him to the corner using that uh, meter for the super. Absolutely worth it. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, well, the Big Man's going to lose a big chunk of health, but Sage is going to whack TJ and, yeah. you know, continue playing. You can see Sage push blocking before the flash. If you push block that super and guard cancel, you can punish it. Yep. Sage ready. The awareness of the situation. Knowing exactly what's going on in this particular video game. Here we go at Beowulf level 3. We don't see that very often. Oh, okay. I, I think he knew that that, that was um, a safe first, but Sage, you know, with such a life lead, kind of willing to just take the extra damage there, go back to neutral. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's an overhead. So I, uh, should be able to finish up Beowulf right here. Yep, doesn't even need to spin meter. He does have the, a ratio on his side, duo versus trio. Okay, catches Sage's Bella with the Merry Gorilla. TJ literally cannot make a mistake right here. I'm surprised he's not snapping. Oh, oh. I like the idea of it, but just the, didn't wasn't able to get it. Yeah, he was still in block stun from the other hit, so the throw whiffed, I think, is what happened there. Yeah, and then he ran out of interval and the brass came in. Yeah. I would have liked to see a team or order switch from TJ, but I, I know it's not coming. I've only ever seen him play these two characters with these assists in this order. Uh, TJ, yeah, I, mean, I think I first saw TJ play in uh, EVO 2013, and he's been playing this exact team like for that long. We did see like a brief squiggly phase from him, but he yeah. ended up not really liking the character. I think TJ is one of those one of those players who really needs to like his character aesthetically to play them. Yeah. And the only characters he likes are Peacock and Bella. Yeah, that's fair. I, I could definitely relate to that. 
that. And Sage kind of the same way too though. I mean, he'll play anything, but he really, really likes Beowulf, just like aesthetically and as a character, which is always cool. And he always, he's always been infamous for loving Sarabella. Wow. When is the bomb exploding? That is the uh, right then, that is the question of the day. So neither character hit by that explosion. Yeah. So it's okay. There we go. Uh, TJ fighting for his life in winners. Yeah. Right once now. again, it is Bella versus all three characters. Got a lot of work to do. Doesn't even really have a lot of meter to work with either. It's going to be really hard to come back. Cerebellum versus the world, including one other Cerebellum. <laughs> there we go. Set up right here. Yep. Just cross up, gets a counter hit, and as long as it goes into the super, finishes the combo right here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Zach Dance, and that's going to be it. 3 0 from the kill Sage. Clean set from Sage. I mean, we've seen him play TJ a bunch of times, and usually goes pretty much exactly like that. Yeah. He knows how to play the Peacock match.